Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another additional Brian's Bible Study. Uh, I am your host Brian, you are on the Brian Murray YouTube channel. Thank you for being with, with me. Um, we have a short lesson today. Uh, um, you know, only have 22 verses, so so I'm, I'm not going to cover the, the genealogy, which is the last half of, of the chapter. I'm only going to do the first 22 verses. So, excuse me. Uh, before we jump jump into that, you know how we do. We got to start with with a prayer here. Father, we, we thank you for bringing us together one more time, Father, that, that, that we may sit at your feet, Lord, and learn and learn of you as we learn of ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for, for your love and your kindness and your tenderness and, and, this, and, and, and this great privilege that we have to just sit and learn about your word. We thank you. We, we're, we're, we're just so amazed by that. A lot of people don't have this. A lot of people don't even desire this. You have given us the desire to do this. And we thank you and we honor you for that, Father. May we see what we've never seen before. May we understand what we've never understood before. That we will have a better understanding. And we understand it better by and by. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, St. Luke chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Now, in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar... Pontius Pilate being the governor of, of Judea and and Herod being Tetra of Galilee and his brother Philip Tetra of of uh, it, 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 <laughs> of the region of uh, Trachonis Tratonissus and Lassiania, the Tetra of Abila, and and Annas, and Annas and Cyprus, being the high priest, the word of, of God came unto John, the son of. Uh, of Zacharias in the wilderness he came into all the country about Georgia preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins what a fascinating um, uh, message preaching the baptism of repentance for, for, the, for the remission of sins you have to be one heck of a preacher to have that kind of message, especially when it ne never has been done before. <laughs> you have to be one special kind of preacher, especially when it has never been, been done before. Not like this. As it is written in the book of the word uh, 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 of Isaiah, the, uh, the prophet saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. It's, so it connects is because to, to, to repent of for, for re remission of, of, of sins, it, it is, I mean, that has to be one word. It's like, so wait, why should I stop what I'm doing? And, 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 and this is where we are. It's not that it's not being done, but it's not being done at that effective rate. It's like, why should I stop what I'm doing? I like what, what I'm doing, though, though it's messing my life up. <laughs> because obviously common sense ha ha haven't done that. So why should I stop? In verse 5, every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. This is where it gets... See, you can't understand this message. It has to be revealed to you. You can't understand it. It has to be revealed to you. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O ge generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to, to uh, come? 
Cool. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be to, to be the old generation of vipers, who, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to do a come. Bring forth therefore the fruits worthy of re repentance, and beginning to and beginning not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that God is able is able of these stones to raise up children upon uh, Abraham. We have a lot going on in uh, verse 8. It says, Bring forth meats, meat. Uh, for bring therefore fruits worthy of re re repentance. And begin not to say, See, it's the internal conversation that John the, uh, the Baptist is uh, dealing with. Do not begin to say to, but Abraham is our father, so 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 I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Abraham is my father, so I'm so I'm naturally good. I'm good all day. I, I have a praying mother, so my, my sister goes to a church. <laughs> None of that matters. None of that matters. Absolutely zero matters. God is able to, of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. What he's speaking of, he's not speaking of per, per se natural stones. What he's talking about is the uh, the new potential believers that are re re repentant and gaining the knowledge of this kingdom message. Yeah, because some of us are so smart for our own good, we don't we don't get any further with God. We're, we're, we're doing this for church, we're doing that or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But like the, 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 the head on interaction with God, the confrontation with God, the, the, the experience with God, a lot of us are, are missing that. That's why what's being said doesn't make sense. God can raise these stones up, meaning the uh, Gentiles, the ones who have zero spir spiritual heritage. You you went to church, uh, uh, your, your mother, the, the pastor, all, the, all these things going on. You have zero, uh, uh, no, pe people who, who have, people who are working with less is coming in more hungry than you. That's what John the Baptist is referring to. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. Every tree, therefore, which bring forth not fruit is hewed down and cast into the uh, fire. It, I mean, just just this message alone is just turning. It's just turning it all upside. I re re remember being a kid and hearing messages from like, guest pastors, whatever guest, you know, pastor on the, the, the radio as we're coming home from, from church, going to, to church, it is because I'm dealing with this concept. It's like, look, I'm a kid. I don't want to stop being a kid. I don't want to be serious. But that's like something we always have to face. It's like, Still, especially growing up in uh, the, the 80s, you know, and like you hear the, the gospel, it's like you you don't know of any other way to live. And what, what, what I mean by that is when all you do is go, go to school, go to church and circle back and do the same things. It's like I don't want to get super serious with churches because... I'm already having a boring life. <laughs> I don't want to have uh, I, I, I already have a boring life is because I keep doing the same things. I already don't want to get super serious is because uh, being super serious that to, to us as a child, he hears that. What he hears is, um, I don't want to stop having fun. Now, 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 look, the fun you're having is like innocent stuff because you are a, a, a kid. You know, even as a child, when, when you hear your pastor preaching, you hear all, all, all this, you know, good preaching and teaching and, and good word and everything. You're like, 
it's a higher level to this and I don't want to do it because I don't want to change see that's from a mind of a child but it's like you're really not versed the fact that well you can be serious you can still be a kid but still make Jesus your priority we, we didn't have that understanding growing up like what <laughs> what like like what what does being a church person mean I, I, I mean what does that act like what does that look like like I don't I don't understand it's like what does that mean so you have all these type of things you are dealing with and, and, and it's like I don't I don't get it I don't get it I don't I, I understand but what John the Baptist is saying is for you uh, adults and, and your, those of you who are entitled it's like look the axe is laid at the root of the, the tree every tree that does not bring forth godly fruit shall be hewed down and cast into the uh, fire and like that is that that that's that's like a very like oh is he talking about hell like what my father's abraham whoa 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 uh, i think when you get a chance to really talk about get a chance to really talk about what it is you potentially could be missing out by not uh, giving your all to, to God see we, we, we don't even have those type of conversations anymore because um Uh, life is like all about you. Life is just all about you. You 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 don't even understand what 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 what, what like life that's not about you even means. <laughs> this is what goes through the mind. You you're not thinking. I don't. I see you 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 think of it of a behavior. Or language opposed to a new way of thinking that's how you are seeing it like trying to learn Spanish it's like uh, I gotta always speak speaking Spanish can I learn a little bit of Spanish here and there it's like what's happening I don't I don't get it it's it's a lot of things that go through your mind and the number one thing is it's not what you're gaining is what you are giving up this is what crosses people's mind and it freaks them out it makes them not want to get involved with uh, Jesus is because that that means you have to put away X Y and, 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 and Z you're not thinking about what you have to gain okay that's that's not what you are thinking the fact that freedom is an option you're not thinking that it's 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 like uh so that's why uh testimonies are just so important is because I, I i remember just hearing fiery testimonies as a kid it's like it's like, well, I'm in church because my my parents brought me, but 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 it's like the isolated decision. It's like I know at some point I gotta make a decision. <laughs> I really don't want to make it today because I want to go out and, and play, you know, later in, in the week. But yeah, it's it's I I you know. This also play, play, plays a role in this, in terms of that's why it, it is important to have young people at your church. It's because when you are, you know, you know, the handful full of young people at, at, at your church, you don't have much to, to go on. And what, what what I mean by that is, you don't have different per perspectives. It's because 
because you are nervous about oh do do I that do, does this mean I gotta stop being cool? It's like yeah, you you weren't yeah, that cool even to uh, begin with. <laughs> you wasn't that cool. So so this 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 repentance message is always fascinating because even th those of us who have been saved for, for a long time, we, we remember what it's like. It's like, that's nerve-wracking for, for some. But we never put ourselves in, in the shoes of those of the stones. The stones being, as I said, the, the uh, Gentiles. The ones who haven't grown up that way, that's not conditioned that way. All they know is pain and hurting and, and, and just and just this feeling of violation over their life and you know being abused by, by the world or whatever. We we don't we don't think that way. It's like, yo, people want Jesus so they can just stop hurting. That's why we, we have to make that available at all times. Even if you're talking to, to a friend in the conversation with, with a prayer. Just, just be a little refuge. Don't don't be abused by, by these people now, because because you still ha have to let let them know it's a lot of things you could could be doing better. Because I had one of my uh, young guys. He, he he called me like maybe three times. He just had a breakup with with his his ex-girlfriend and oh man she said this you're doing that whatever blah 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 we but and and and, and I, i'm like i'm just at it is it, it, it's dude i don't want to hear this <laughs> I, I do not want to hear this every day i do not went whenever no no that's why i told him let's talk about how you can get better he was like what what do you mean it's like yeah you you want to talk about your, your ex-girlfriend i'm not doing that so let's talk about how you can advance and improve in life because uh, once you do that that moves you away from the uh, ex <laughs> see as long as you're standing still you're 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 right there you are emotionally right there it's like you're there with a dead body it's like uh this is terrible. Move, move on, move on. It, it, the, the grieving process is always with you, no matter what. But you know what helped heal the group, uh, the, the grieving process? Healing and moving on. That is what will help heals it. Amen. Amen. This is so good. <laughs> In verse 10, and the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? They need guidance. And he answered and said unto them, He that has two coats, let him impart to him that has none, and he that has meat, let him do likewise. Let's let's do some, some basic stuff. Let's address poverty. Poverty. Those who have two. Yeah. In part to someone who has none. Though the same with food. One who has none is because this is what I'm talking about. Uh, sure, you, you have that small percentage of people that, that is trying to take advantage of you. Okay, fine. But it's just like basic necessities. Okay? That is why if you're going to have people you got to have a strategy you got because we're getting pe pe people saved and, and and we say back to them go forth now, like my church they get people saved by the hundreds I'm not quite sure how how, how it is doing during this pan, pan, uh, pandemic and, and all, they, they have di different avenues for for, 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 for people to uh, get, get saved and, 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 a, and a counselor and, and, and everything. But, I mean, people was getting saved by the hundreds every week before pre-COVID. Pre and like, they have avenues to get people started on their path. That's what it's like. It, it's like, 
you got to have the infrastructure to help people. Okay? You got to have the infrastructure. In verse 12, then came also publicans to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed to you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, What shall we do? And he said, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. He, he, he goes from addressing sin to, to addressing poverty to addressing greed. Greed is not having a lot. Greed Greed is not wanting more. Greed is taking what does not belong to you. That's greed. <laughs> Amen. That that is greed. Basic things. Basic things. In verse fifteen in, in, in closing, and as people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts, they thought in their hearts of John, whether he was the Christ or not, and Jesus answered saying unto them all I indeed baptize you with water but the one mightier than I come of the latch of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose uh, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge the floor and he will gather the wheat in, 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 into the into his garner and a chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable and many and other things in his extortion preach a, a, exhortation sorry preached he unto the people inherit the uh, the tetra being reproved by him of, of Herodias Th this this is this is the greatest proof of the kingdom of God is social change social change. I'll, I'll, I'll prove it because John the Baptist already did it. He addressed sins. He addressed poverty. He addressed greed. He addressed adultery. Okay? Now, I know some of you, you want everything to be Holy Ghost filled and spirit, 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 spirit. But how, well, where's the proof that you're, you're making change? I'm addressing adultery. And so much that people who are doing a, a dark, uh, get getting upset and retaliating. This is how you know you are moving the needle. Those who who only those who have two coats to those who have none, give one them that has none, give them one. Those who have food, meat, and and some has none, give them one. Adultery, stop doing it. It's wrong. <laughs> because can you imagine when, when he's saying this so, how our, our king is wait so <laughs> this, this is how you know your, your, your ministry is going for when you're speaking and people are thinking of, of examples like yeah that's that's why the gospel is so dangerous because it's not prejudice. It's not prejudice. Reproved by him for for Herodes, his brother's Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod, Herod has done. Added yet this above that he shut up John in prison. Yeah. You want to prove how, how anointed you are? As as prophetess want want Anita Bottom said, you're you're if you're as anointed as you think you are, you're going to to, to prison at least once. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, and heaven was opened. The Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. Amen. Amen. The end. That was good, man. Just, just basic stuff. We need to touch on basic stuff from, from time to time, you know? 
Father, we uh, thank you, Lord. We 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 are uh, we, we want you to bless everyone that, that, that has clicked and downloaded the, the, this video, Lord. Give, give, give them uh, good health, Lord. Give give, give give them peaceful sleep at night, Father. Watch 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 over them as they go to and fro, Father. Yeah, those those of us who are working from home, um, uh, can, can continue to, to to bless us, Lord. And Lord, those who who are without clothes. Without a coat, may one who has two give one, one of them that has none one. Those without food, that those that have meat, give them some. Those those who are stealing and abusing their their power, may them stop and stop falsely accusing people. And those who are committing adultery, stop. Those who are fornicating, stop. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right. God bless you and I will see you next week. God bless. Bye.